आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ Hello students so today we are going to solve this question explain the roles of the following with the help of an example each in recombinant dna technology a restriction enzymes and b plasmids okay so we have to solve this question let's start with the first one that is restriction enzymes okay so restriction enzymes are very important enzyme which are basically used in recombinant dna technology and they are known as the molecular scissors okay why they are known as the molecular scissors they are known as the molecular scissors because they are able to cut the dna at specific sequences okay they can cut the dna at specific sequences and these specific sequences are basically known as the recognition sites they are known as the recognition sites and these recognition sites are basically 4 to 8 base pairs which are been recognized by these restriction enzymes so there are two types of restriction enzymes uh, restriction endonucleases and restriction exonucleases so, res so restriction exonucleases are basically not used in uh, not much used in recombinant dna technology so here i'm going to tell you about the restriction endonucleases okay endonucleases these are important enzyme they cut inside the dna not at the end of the dna they can inside the dna at specific sequence that are restriction sites okay a very common example of this uh, restriction endonuclease is eco r1 this eco r1 is been isolated from escherichia coli okay and it recognizes a recognition uh, it has a recognition site that is g a a t t c okay and it cuts between g and a so this is the uh, example of the restriction enzyme which are very important enzyme in recombinant dna technology the next is plasmids so we talk about plasmids plasmids are basically extra chromosomal dna they are extra chromosomal dna okay and this extra chromosomal dna is not needed for this normal survival of the cell it's not it is not needed it is not needed for the normal survival it is not needed for the normal survival for the normal survival of bacteria it means these plasmids are present in the bacteria but they provide some extra characteristic or extra features to the bacteria which can be used for the survival in extreme conditions okay or in emergency conditions such a such a characteristic is antibiotic resistant okay resistance okay so when we talk about the recombinant dna technology recombinant dna technology in recombinant dna technology these plasmids are basically used as vectors okay and they carry the foreign gene or gene of interest and transfer it to the host cells okay that's the basic function of a plasmid so the common example the common most common plasmid which is commonly used is pbr3 22 and this uh, plasmids basically have some antibiotic resistant sites okay it has some or we can say it has some selectable markers okay okay different recognition sites recognition sites and ori or origin of replication okay so i hope this answers your question क्लास 6 से 12 से लेके नीट आईआईटी आई टी मेंस और एडवांस के लेवल तक 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ पर